So let's go through this one. Uh, so if I'm going to add these two numbers together, the exponents are different, so I can't just add these two numbers. So which one am I going to change first? This one. Okay, so I'm going to stick with the big. So I'm going to rewrite it. So I've got 5.32 times 10 to the power of 5 still. But if I change this one to times 10 to the power of 5, well, remember, 8 gets multiplied by 10 four times. So if I want to multiply it by 10 another time and still have the same number, I need to shift these right ones first, don't I? So it would be 0 0.832. Okay, so now I can write 0 0.832. So I'm just going to shift this out of the way a little bit. So that's times 10 to the power of 5. This is also times 10 to the power of 5. Now I can, if I stick a 0, feel free not to. 2 plus, so we're adding. 3 plus 2 is. 8 plus 3 is. So 1, carry the 1. 5 is 6. Got times right, so my answer is well done, six point one five two times ten to the power of five. No, you've got it wrong, I got it right. Right guys. Alright, let's uh because I I'm struggling with the whole YouTube just like you did last year. In the same place. Same thing it was last year. I missed the pop. I put a link on um Teams as well. I'll put another link on the team. Okay. Right, uh, what's the next one? Do you remember the numbers? Uh, it was 1.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. Um, and then 4 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay. So this one, it's not harder, but it's going to look just because there's such a big difference between the two. All right? Giant, there's going to be a lot of zeros. Is it like you have to move the negative 2 up to 6? Yeah, that's what we would go for, isn't it? Because remember what happens. If I make this one the negative 2 to the smaller number, we end up having to change our answer again. So we'll keep, we'll, we'll get this one up to the, the 6. Well, I need to rewrite this number, right, this part, so I can multiply it by 10 six times and get the same thing. So I'm going to keep my 1.3 times 10 to the power of 6, but over here, so I'm going to do 4.9 times 10 to the negative 2, but I want that to be multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. So what will I be doing then? So this needs to be shifted, this will be shifting everything right two times, yeah? yeah? But I need to have something that I can shift left six times. So that means these numbers are going to... So if I, it's going to be trickier to think, but I'm going to write this as 0 0.049. So this, this is the actual number, so now I need to shift it, so these numbers need to be actually going to the right, don't they? Because I need to come from this direction, come up to this number, because that's what times in by 10 to the power of 6 does, yeah? So it's going to be 0, 0.0, that's where it is, before, but I need to... Shift it right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that, yeah? Because that would get me, look, four times ten once, twice, three, four. Oh, I've not done it enough, but that's why it's worth checking. Okay? Another. So think about it. That's why I put a little four there, because that's where it is, yeah? That's why it's a tricky one. So stay fully focused on the work. This four look needs to end up in that column, yeah? So I need to multiply the four by ten six times to get it there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm good. Yeah? 
Right, that means this, this, and this are all the same thing. But that makes it a bit tricky, doesn't it? Because now I've got 1.3 times, I'm going to have to leave a space and then go 0 0.00. How many is it? Four, nine, and it's all going to be times 10 to the power of 6. Yeah. So if I add those together, I get 1.3000000049 times 10 to the power of 6. Now, in reality, I hope you've written that, Luke. In reality, what would you then do with that answer? I just round it, didn't I? Yeah. And just ignore this bit. That's because 4.9 times 10 to the power of negative 2 is quite a small number, and 1.3 times 10 to the power of 6 is a really big number, so adding a small number to a big number doesn't make much difference, does it? That's why if I rounded it, I just end up with the same answer, 1.3 times 10 to the power of 6. But technically, that's what it would be. All right.